Hello! Already for our subscribers on the YouTube channel there is a new video about retraction life hacks. Today we will talk about composites. This topic is difficult to understand, but the dentists need to choose material based on knowledge and not because of beautiful advertising. Previous video we discussed why composites replaced acrylic plastic. Composite plastics also belong to acrylic, because even modern materials contain acrylic acid monomers, bisgma, its derivatives, udma and others. These substances are presented in the form of a very thick resin, which is difficult to work with. Therefore, they also contain diluents, such as TEGDMA, which ensure composite fluidity. Composite structure consists of three substances, being the connecting components of the material, filler and interface layer. Inorganic filler in the form of silicon dioxide or glazes with different composition reduces the polymerization shrinkage of the binder, which is about 7% for bisgma and 10-12% for diluent monomers, compared to 20% for methyl methacrylate, which is used in earlier versions of plastics. Particular importance for the composites has the size of the filler particles, which will determine the physical properties of the material. The interfacial layer is the zone of transition of the matrix into the filler and includes low molecular weight inclusion of the resin on one side and silane filler on the other. Silane enhance the interfacial layer and create a stable and waterproof adhesive bond between the filler and the matrix. For details on silane and the polymerization process, see previous video episodes. Composite materials have the ability to form an inhibited layer. Scientists are still arguing about the effect of the strength of adhesion. Adhesion enhancement is explained by the fact that during polymerization the surface of the composite Composite is contact with oxygen forms an inhibited layer consisting of inactive monomers of the polymer matrix. When packing a new layer of material, the initiator again activates the monomers of the inhibited layer, due to which adhesion occurs. Authors claiming that the presence of the inhibited layer does not affect the adhesion and in some cases even worsens. Explain this by the unevenness of the layer, as well as the destruction of bonds due to shrinkage, which will impair the strength of the restoration. Poor adhesion of a new portion of the material when relining and repairing temporary crowns of the composite after prolonged wear is due to the lack of three monomers bonds in the old layer, which degrade over time and washed out of the material due to the aggressive environment of the oral cavity. The connection of the old material with the new one can be ensured only by the mechanical coupling, which is best achieved by sandblasting. Carry out the treatment of the crown with burst before aligning as little as possible with the subsequent cleaning of the surface, since at the same time a poorly removed smeared layer is formed, which will also worsen the adhesion of a new portion of the material. Before fixing, the temporary crown should be well polished. A poorly polished restoration creates conditions for the accumulation of plaque and microorganisms, which negatively affect its surface and surrounding tissues. Trank studies have shown that composite materials can withstand a load of up to 149.3 MPa with a fracture load. Acrylic plastics withstand 68.3 under the same conditions. The best indicators of hardness and resistance to abrasion in various environments also show composites. Despite the advantages of composites materials over acrylic, they have a number of features that should be considered when walking. We will talk about them in the next episodes on the practical aspects of walking with plastics. Thank you all for holding and watching this video to the end. See you next next episodes. Bye!